Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Clare Street for today's clash in the Lacquer Seljet Cup. Today's game of the round will be the Southern Champions Newtown White Eagles against the MPL and Lacquer Seljet Cup champions Devonport Strikers. My name is Tanner Code on Football Tasmania TV, and I'm joined today by Luca Forrest. Luca, welcome, mate. Tanner, mate, it's an absolute pleasure to be here today. Set for a fantastic game. Champions versus champion stuff. We were just talking before the, before the mics went live. Newtown got a lively new young side with a few good signings at home as well at Clare Street. But then, of course, you got that Devonport side who pulled off a miraculous comeback against Northern Rivals Launceston the other week. That was absolutely fantastic. We've got to give a shout-out to that, Tanner, mate. Oh, absolutely, mate. Newtown have recruited extremely well. We've got some key players here. We've got Adam McEwen, former King Lion, um, Matt Pace, uh, the right winger, coming over from Clarence Zebras. That is a huge get, Luca. Absolutely, mate. Look, that front, uh, in front of goal, getting into that final third, where Newtown in previous years have struggled a little bit in that final third, just being that little bit more clinical in front of goal, these new signings are certainly going to improve, improve the overall nature of the squad and that and that fight in front of goal. Absolutely, and we've got Andy Taylor as well, who um, also was at King Reliance. He's going to be very vital with the cam. Just He'll go for those long shots if he can, Luca, I reckon. I reckon playing in that cam role, in that authorised number 10, you're going to need to be a bit ruthless. You're going to need to take those long shots when the opportunity comes, but also play those smart passes through. So I reckon today he's going to be in the engine room, particularly against a very strong Devonport side, which, as we've seen, they are remarkably strong through the midfield. So he's going to have a bit on his shoulders today, a bit of work to do. Yep, Newtown will be coached today by uh, Tommy Fotak, who's back into the fray, and uh, also David Cox will be taking the captain's art band. Uh, just uh, some quick facts real quick. Um, Devonport are uh, pretty much favourites on paper, but I really do have a feeling that Newtown are going to make something out of this, Luca. I, I, I agree, mate. As we, as we were just talking about last week, Devonport pulled up for a, a miraculous comeback against Launceston. Their key players, you've got Brody Denner here, you've got Riku Ichimori, you've got Shogo Umazu, mate. you've got Marcy Benjamin even, who's on the bench today, but you've got some fantastic players, absolutely rapid, who can control the game. They can slow the tempo down they need to be, control the wide areas and move the ball forward. But... Again, the conditions are beginning to favour Newtown a bit. It's deteriorating a little bit, expecting a bit of showers in the second half. A young side, a firing side at home today. So certainly it's set for a good clash. I think we're for a good game of football. I agree, mate. Uh, we just touched on our Devonport's our comeback last week. That was the biggest comeback in uh, MPL Tasmania history. They were down 4-0 uh, and uh, somehow came back to win 6-4. Uh, so we'll give a shout-out to our MPL statistician, uh, Ben Smith, for providing us with that. Thank you, Ben. Ben, mate, absolute legend on the stats. Having a comeback like that, it just sets you up for the rest of the season. Now, I saw them in the Summer Cup final. They controlled Kingborough Lions for the majority of the game very early as well, with a Ricky Ichimura scoring in the 23rd minute. A beautiful goal where he cut through about three, four defenders and was able to finish in the bottom left corner. And just having these key players and having that momentum, having that pride in what you're doing, to be able to go into the coming weeks as favourites in the majority of games, majority of fixtures, they'll be the favourites as they are here today. 100%. Ricky is looking the absolute goods lately. He's already got three goals in two games, and he really impressed me in round one as well. He was in the corner flag, and it was still 3-0, and we were saying that he'll probably just go to the corner flag and just waste some time. He worked his way around three defenders, and he worked his way around that corner flag too. I thought that was absolutely exceptional. Yeah, Tom Ballantyne as a coach, he's got a real focus on work ethic. His team's going to work, they're going to fight, they're going to fight for the whole 90 minutes, even in stoppage time. So Ricky Ichimura is certainly playing on that Ballantyne style of play, that continuous fight, that continuous effort in front of goal. So Ballantyne's boys are looking good today. You mentioned uh, the work ethic. So with uh, the 3-4-3 free, free formation now, something a little new for Devonport, but it has worked uh, recently, hasn't it, Luca? Yes, particularly, I believe they're 6-6 six from six in their past fixtures. All wins so far. They won the Summer Cup final. Of course, the biggest comeback in MPL history in Tasmania. So that's absolutely fantastic. So the 4-3-3, a bit different this season. Trying something a bit different. But I reckon it's, it's paying off, most certainly. Players are just now uh, entering the field. You're right about the conditions. It does look like it could favour Newtown if we're lucky. Certainly, I've played it. I uh, clashed with Oval a few times myself. I don't claim to be anyone special, but I have been called the uh, Sacred Heart College Stephen Gerrard on a <laughs> number of occasions. <laughs> don't mind that shout-out, especially as a Liverpool fan myself. Liverpool fan, are you, mate? Yeah. Well, I like you a little bit better now because I'm a Liverpool fan as well. Oh, well, this is going to be a fantastic non-biased call. <laughs> non-biased at all, mate. No. <laughs> as we can see, making their way out to the pitch today, we can see the big toll man, about 6'4", Declan Zadazny, wearing the number 23 shirt today for Devonport. He's been a bit, bit 
been on and off so far today, or this season so far at the moment. There have been moments where have been absolutely clinical in front of goal, but him being new to this Devonport side, I reckon they're going to need to see a bit more from him. Him being that key number nine, how he has played that role for a number of um, for a number of games so far. So, just how is he going to shape up today, Tanner? How is he going to change his makeup to be able to go today? Declan Zadazny, what do we think about him? Yes, Zazny does um, have that pressure to be fair. He, I mean, he's going to be around uh, Raku and uh, Brody, so that's where the focus will mainly be. But Zadazny is a proven player in his own right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, pressure's on for any striker to score goals, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens today, particularly he's, he's certainly got a bit of help. I believe Ricky Chamorro will shape up on the left-hand side today. And he'll have Brody, D Brody Denny, he absolutely rapid. He played in the right midfield in the um, Summer Cup final. I was very... I was on the touchline practically. Andrew calling Alex and myself were on the touchline. We just saw how rapid he was. He was like, he had the, he's got that ability to take on players, but he's got that ability to cross in on that accurate long ball. So he will be a key player today, I reckon, as Newtown will be looking to fight Devonport in this game today. As players take the field. As the players take the pitch today, Tanner, mate, you're going to walk us through the lineups. Yep. So uh, we've got our starting uh, Newtown uh, White Eagles lineup. Uh, number one, Jamie Cook and goals. Uh, left back will be uh, number two, Toby Butler, followed by David Cox, who uh, is wearing the captain's armband today. Henry Fag, Oliver Johnson, who was also a late change as well. He'll be uh, in the full uh, right back position. Uh, Brett Andrews and uh, Tom Backhouse will be the left centre mid and right centre mid, respectively, followed by Andy Taylor, who will be holding the cam. And uh, the front three will be Luke Backhouse on the left, Matt Pace on the right, and Adam McEwen will be the key striker. Fantastic. That Newtown side shaping up absolutely fantastic. Then we're looking at the absolute deadly Devonport side today, the Northern, the Northern juggernauts, if you will. Particularly, we were talking about some of their players previously, but how are they lining up today, Tanner? Yeah, Devonport will be uh, going a 3-4-3 formation once again. Uh, new signing Noah Kalamata retains uh, his spot in goals, uh, followed by Dom Smith, Toby Barton, uh, Fahim Muradi, Brody Dennehy, Kieran Mulraney will be wearing the captain's armband as always, followed by the Japanese sensation himself, Riku Ichimura, followed by his own uh, nationality man in Shogo Uzame, uh, Charles Bidwell, Taylor Last and Declan Zadazny. Two absolutely rapid and absolutely deadly lineups today. The Backhouse voice for Newtown have been playing fantastically in the past two games. Uh, Tommy Backhouse has been looking good in front of goal. Luke playing out in the wide positions on the left-hand side. Interesting to see how he's going to play today. David Cox wearing the arm and a bit of a late change, Tanner. Yes, yes, certainly was. Um, just uh, going to our substitutions uh, for Newtown, there's a couple of interesting names. Uh, number nine, George Ivanov, uh, who we believe has come over from uh, uni, Luca. That's going to be a good signing. Certainly will be a good signing. A long... He's got, that, he's got that power. He really has that ability. Coming across from uni, he's had a few good seasons with uni, and he's one of those players where you give him that one, two, three metres in the final third, he will take it. Not to mention also uh, on Devonport's uh, bench, we actually see the return of uh, the fox in the box himself, Miles Barnard, and uh, Nicola New Atkinson will also be warming the pine today. So they've got the depth, Luca. So I reckon Devonport will be fine. On paper, they're definite favourites, but I just have a feeling Newtown will make a game of this. That being said, I will tip Devonport. Devonport, I'm going your way. I'm going to have to go with you on that one, Tanner. Devonport have been absolutely rapid in recent weeks. Got the Japanese sensations, Riku Ichimura and Shogo Umazume playing out wide and looking to really take the game on. Marcy Benjamin on the bench at the moment. He's absolutely rapid as well, playing in the left back, sort of inverted wing back position. Though I do reckon it'll be the worth, work ethic of um, Tom Ballantyne's Devonport. Newtown will have to make a fight of it today. I reckon at home, favourable conditions, it'll be a fight. Though I have to go Devonport simply for the squad depth and the absolute ability of the guy they've got. Adam Sunday McEwen just uh, waiting for kickoff and we are underway. Off the ball forward by Newtown. Lands safely. Dominic Smith looking to cover. He does. He'll look to go for the throw in. Quick shout out to uh, veteran photographer and uh, journalist Walter Pless on the side there, now entering uh, 40 plus years. Great to see you out there, Walter. Shogo Omar's and made two Declans at Dazny. They're trying to work the game out. Bid well, looking to cut his way through a couple. Quite unsuccessful in that attempt. It'll be back to Smithy, who's going to play up the line. And look to go forward in Newtown. But cleared no nonsense stuff from Toby Barton. Captain David Cox looking to push his way through as Devonport again looking to go forward early. Dennehy no way through there. 
Cox just dragged him down. This is where the physicality is going to be vital for Newtown. They're, they are a firm, physical side. They're going to have to utilise this today, Luca. I certainly reckon, particularly number 15, David Cox, wearing the armband today, he's, going to, he's got a lot of, lot of work to do in midfield. He's got rapid midfield. He's got Brodie Dennehy. He's got, to look, he's got to be wary of Mulraney as well. Particularly dangerous, you've got Bidwell, who plays normally in a centre-back role, who will come forward and almost plays a um, CDM at times. So he's got a lot, a lot of work to do today. The armband, he's going to have to stand up. He's going to have to be a, a pillar. He's going to have to really set the example for his boys today. 100%. Just playing around the ball on Newtown, trying to probe, find a way through. Go back to the skipper, the that's security of the goalkeeper. That's an incredibly risky game against Devonport. Honestly, I, I really don't understand why you would start playing from the back. Any any turnover, you get Brody Dennehy on that, bang. You let you let Dennehy on that ball, as you say, bang. Like they can't afford a mistake here today. Absolute rapid players. The physicality and the athleticism of this Devonport side is crucial to their game. But they've implemented into that game so well in the 4-3-3, allowing your wide men to dominate having strong midfielders. Speaking of strong blows, Riku Ichimura, he'll be dangerous today. A little bit of play around. That physicality coming into it there. As the throwing comes, the way of Devonport. Also number 12 there for, uh, for Newtown, uh, Matt Pace, uh, a new signing coming over from Clarence Zebras, which we uh, mentioned in the pre-show. He's going to be another key player for Newtown. Every time Newtown going forward, so far they're looking to go aerial, looking to loft it forward. Though Devonport have the security at the back and have the assurance as they look to go through here, look to break with speed. McEwen looking for his options. Pace with the name himself. Takes aim. Oh, it's Oi. out! And it's in! What a start! Andy Taylor himself! Andy Taylor, he comes like... I have no I have no words for that. Two minutes into this match, and he's, he's absolutely flown across. Like Van Persie in the day, and he's taken it right to Devonport's goalkeeper. That's absolutely phenomenal. That What a start from Newtown. That is actually a fantastic comparison, Robin Van Persie. Yes, I, I can actually remember that exact goal. 2010, Netherlands. Is that what you're referring to there? The Flying Dutchman, Oh, yep. that's it. Beautiful. Well, what a start from Newtown. As I was saying, that physicality and that pressure game, which Devonport plays so well, has flipped and done a bit of a bit of a 180, and it's gone against them here. Newtown taking the pressure to the to the Paragons of pressure themselves. Now you have to think, will Newtown, are they going to play a defensive game, or do you think they've got to still go on the attack? I yeah. reckon, given that work ethic of Tom Ballantyne's teams and given that absolute athleticism they've got, Devonport are going to continue to pile the pressure on. Even if they're 1-0, 2-0, 3-0 down, they're always going to come for it, always going to look for that mistake. So I reckon Newtown, they're going to continue to pile on that pressure and just continue to work them down, grind them down that little bit and break their morale. That's how I reckon they're going to have to go about this game. They can park the bus they like, but at home you don't really want to be parking the bus. <laughs> no, 100%. Definitely not for the fans in attendance as well, and for the neutral. You were talking earlier, Tanner, about Riku Ichimura and his work ethic, particularly on the set piece, as the man himself, the Japanese sensation, looks to cut and looks to go early here. Three goals in two games already, Riku. Let's see what he can do. Sends it into the box. It, oh, there's a uh, foul there? Potential foul call. No, it doesn't even look like the players sure what's going on at the y moment. Yes, uh, Kieran Mulroney is uh, also going up to the referee asking, as uh, we have also been uh, dumbfounded that uh, play back underway. Jamie Cook retaining uh, the spot in goals. Jamie Cook, he's going to look to go aerial here so far. All of his backs have left him, so the option to play out from the back is not available to him, so he goes wide, looks to drive right up the middle. As that physical battle goes, Umazame goes to ground. Dennehy, back to Bidwell, Blue Mazen Mazen. May. Able to play through here to Devonport, through Bidwell, Swiss Army, the Swiss Army man himself, absolutely fantastic, such a utility. Mazen May trying to weave his way through tra traffic, Zadazny also finds the option, Maradi takes aim, it's blocked. Well, Marsman wants to cut his way through. Unsuccessful in the attempt. As lofted for Do Newtown. It'll go safely to the hands of the goalkeeper. Luca, I'm still honestly in shock that we are witnessing Newtown leading already. <laughs> this, this, this could already be the magic of the cup, and we're only five minutes in. The magic of the cup, it can happen to any team, and now on the nature of this sport, that's the beauty of it. Any team can win on any day. Five minutes in, I didn't expect to see Newtown up, as you did say, mate. 
but it'll be interesting to see how can they maintain that lead. They've got the lead now, and they need to hold on to it. Continue to pile on that pressure, be clinical in the wide areas, win the aerial battles, and continue to just grind Devonport down. Because Devonport, haven't, I haven't done, I don't say they've come up against a team who goes as physical as they do. I haven't seen a team that has the work ethic that they do. So if Newtown can go against them today and continue that hard work ethic, I reckon Devonport will be um, trying to find something in their bag of tricks today. Absolutely. Johnson sends it into the box. Great save there by Kalamata. It's cleared. Ricky Uchimura in the wide positions. He'll look to drive, he'll look to go through. Trying to find a pass. Tackle made. He's a dance his way through. He is absolutely fantastic with his footwork. Oh, commentator's curse. <laughs> commentator's curse in effect there. Ricky Uchimura trying to cut his way through. But using his fantastic footwork, nothing comes of it, unfortunately. Barton. Happy to go back. Mulraney. Did well. Bidwell looks to drive, lofted shot, trying to find the soldiers of Dasni, Shogo Umazume. He's out in the wide positions with Toby Butler as he plays the ball out. We've seen a bit of Umazume so far in this first six minutes. Hasn't really been clinical, but it's good to see that presence. He's been physical, he's been getting in and around the ball. So it's good to see one of your key players playing in a vital role. Definitely, and also interesting that uh, Matt Pace was also marking him as well, a winger to winger. Not something you see every day. Not something you see every day, no. <laughs> That's football for you. <laughs> As Barton goes through. Zadazny. Tight angle. Zadazny inviting the challenge there. Doesn't quite go the way I'm sure he expected it to. Though David Cox, captain for Newtown, more than happy to, when in doubt, kick it out there. Fantastic philosophy to have. It will be Toby Barton to throw in. Will he go long? Finds Zadazny trying to. Body through. No shower, nothing doing. A bit of a stop stall there, Luca. So Dasny restrained there, being a tall, being that number nine option forward. Certainly Newtown are aware of the threat he can pose. You give him space in front of goal and he will take it. That's one thing Newtown will have to be wary of though. All of the front three, four Devonport are absolutely rapid. They're fantastic players. Then you've got players like Bidwell, who can come from the back, almost play in a CDM role, and he will take his chance in front of goal. He's more than capable, along with Dennehy coming down on the right hand side. So, Newtown certainly are going to feel the pressure here in this first half. 100%, uh, but they've got the depth, um, as you said, Luca. They've still got Barnard on the bench. They've still got Nick Lanou Atkinson. So, they've got the players to still get the job done, but one nil down already, you never know what could happen. You never know what can happen. As I say, it's going to be pressure here. It's going to be the team that breaks first. That's my opinion. They're going to be under pressure. There's going to be a physical challenge. The conditions aren't going to be favourable for either team as it deteriorates a little bit. So it's going to be the team that breaks first. Skill and determination is going to account for a lot here today at Clare Street Oval. I'm honestly not actually too sure what the referee was uh, saying to Toby Barton. It looked like he was adjusting his uh, ponytail at the, uh, at the back. But uh, play uh, does resume. Mulraney. Bid well. Look to switch to find Barton. Barton in a bit of room. Ichimura plays through. Barton again. Drive Ichimura. Look to shake his man. Crosses, switches. Trust find Shogu Umazume. Unsuccessful. Arriving quickly. Jamie Cook on that. Somehow still in play. Not quite out of danger yet. Shogu Umazume tries. Oh, Denny! Denny! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Nearly magic at the cup for the 1 1. Lovely attempt there by Brody. Newtown looking a bit flighty at the back there. Jamie Cook got well to go down low to his right-hand side and save that first attempt. Though Umazume coming forward, looking to try and find something different. Dennehy there on trying to volley. So that pressure that we are talking about, the Devonport do so, so well. The pressure game, the prolonged pressure, more importantly, the athleticism is on display there. 100%. Doesn't matter if they grind out a 1-0 or a 2-0 win. Just Devonport will happily slow down the play. But in this, you definitely can't afford to try slow down play. They're going to have to try, fight back hard. And knowing the champions, they will most likely will. Zazzy switches. Umazu made to Dennehy. Umazu has a go. Oh, oh What a goal! That is a fantastic way to come back. Shogo Umazume, like a katana samurai sword, cuts his way through there and dominates. Scoring a beautiful top left-hand corner goal. As quick as we say, Devon brought it back in it. 1-1 already, only 11 minutes. 11 minutes in, 1-1 so far. A bit of luck and a bit of class early from Newtown. 
though Shogo Amate rises to the challenge in the 11th minute, and now it's even Stevens here at Clare Street Oval. Sunday McEwen just looking dumbfounded, he couldn't believe it, they lost the lead that quickly. Back underway. I reckon that's something Newtown going to have to watch a little bit, just get, allowing space. They are going to look to slow down, they are going to look to go forward to keep applying that pressure, though if you give that little bit of space, danger can happen. Speaking of space, you give Rick Rich more of space, he will, he will capitalise on it. Johnson, once again a late changing, sends the ball into Taylor, nothing doing, Barton. Taylor last, trying to shake his man, unsuccessful. Sunday McEwen, don't know what he was trying to think with that pass. Runs into Amaz May, Amaz making a play to Barton, Barton back through to Dennehy, Amaz May again. It's a Twi lovely long ball. That's a beautiful long ball, well weighted too, allowing that little bit of space at the back as Zadazny, Dennehy and Ichimura arrive in support. Tries to cut back around, and unfortunately are they unsuccessful. Andy Taylor just now playing a bit deep. Newtown Gow again, play back, lofted forward. Trying to fight their man, McKeon forward. Moroni gets it back underway quick, Charles Bidwell. Similar as you like, bid will bit of 1-2 action there, play wide, out to the space that Barton that possesses. Goes through to Ichimura. Barton again. Bidwell. Beautiful bit of footwork here, pass and go play as they switch up to the left hand side. Trying to find Ricky Ichimura, Denner, he tries to make an attempt, though unsuccessful. As Devonport break, smart challenge! Just wide. Just wide of the netting on the left-hand side there. Jamie Cook, good bit of work to get down to it, but shot off target. So there's a bit of physicality and a bit of a bit of danger in the final third here, Tanner. Definitely. Devonport's starting to put it on the pressure. We mentioned it's gonna happen. Sure enough, they've already equalised. So now it's backs against the wall back for Newtown. If their backs weren't already against the wall, Luca, playing against the MPL champions. Strong aerial challenge made by Devonport. Though the loose ball does favour Newtown, that will drift just out. Throwing counts to Bidwell. Shogo Umazumi. Dennehy just slips on the Clare Street surface. Happy to toe poke it. Back down to Riku Ichimura. Ichimura goes to the space. Dennehy now possesses. Then he's going to take his man on, awaiting options in the box as he crosses, tries to find Zadazny. Nothing doing. Back down to Andy Taylor. Clever footwork there. Barton. Ichimura. Oh, geez, What's going a, on there? There's a bit of hold-up play. I, I don't know how that's even been given allowed, but... <laughs> I, know, I know you've got to shut down Zadazny, but I don't quite think that's the way to go about it. But that was full holding. H how did the referee not see that? Goodness me. MPL UFC here in the Lacassel Jack Cup. You'll love to see it. <laughs> Barton. Interception doesn't favour Newtown. The White Eagles got to go aerial. Umazame. Happy to have a look around, but wants to weave his way through traffic. Just goes down. Looking for the foul, the referee happy to wave that one play on. Mulraney. Back down to Dom Smith. Smith with a looping ball into the box. Zadazny, he's being muscled off again, but he's worked his way through, but that's a lovely save there by Jamie Cook. Danger not cleared. Now Newton have the chance to go on the counter. Strong challenge made, little favour Barton. He's got the space to use, he'll just play it slowly, slow the tempo down a bit. Fantastic tackle there in the midfield pitch. Dennehy now. Another topo. Riku Ichimura invites the challenge. We know he can take on players. Giving him that space as he crosses trying to find the back post. His fellow countryman and Mazame. Though it'll be Jamie Cook. Safely and securely. We were talking off camera how we thought that this would be the game of the round and it actually is proving to be a very good contest early. Fantastic for the neutrals out there watching on Football Tasmania TV. Hope you're all enjoying the coverage. 
Now, I certainly am enjoying the coverage here in the commentary box, seeing some absolutely fantastic play, a physical contest, certainly with both teams deadly in the final third. Though I just say this first 15, I'd say it has been favouring Devonport. Going forward a little bit more beam, a little bit more clinical. Though I'd say Newtown White Eagles having a very physical approach, playing that pressure football, waiting for the mistake to come, and certainly been putting players under pressure through midfield. Brody Dennehy, golden boot. Just happy to go back to Toby Barton, veteran centre back himself. Barton misplaced at the pass. The veterans sometimes can make mistakes. <laughs> Absolutely right, mate. Andrews. Shoveled off the ball there by Kieran Mulraney. Stallion himself. Back to Charles Bidwell. Bidwell looks to drive forward. He's got options aplenty through midfield, even wide if he wants to switch. Decides to play through to Shogo Umazume. Options wide here. As they invite the running ball. Dom Smith. Happy to go down to the wing. Umazume. Ball into space. Strong challenge by the Eagles. Tries to clear challenge. May though, I believe, that will be... Well, there's, a, there's a stoppage, actually. Uh... And has gone up by the referee. Something has been spotted, possibly off ball. And no, is it a substitution, Luca? I'm not too sure. I can't see me. It looks like a substitution. But I'm not too certain of what's going on here at the moment. It appears that Luke Backhouse's. No, actually, so referee Sam Pepper's just uh, running back over to his mark. I'm trying to get his steps in, I think. Not too sure what to make of that, Luca. We'll just have to uh, check that one uh, After later that on. Brief interval. We're back here with more MPL action in the Lacassel Jack Cup. Strong challenge again. You mentioned strong challenge. This is what Newtown are going to have to do. They know Devonport can slow down the play, but this is what Newtown do do best as well. The physicality, the intensity. This is what they're going to have to utilise today, Luca. As we'll say in Tom Ballantyne's boys, they are playing in that high pressure style. We saw last week what they did against. Launceston in that miraculous comeback. Just that continued press, that continued that continued determination to always go forward and to always take your opportunities is certainly certainly the um the characteristic of Devonport and certainly the charism that they're gonna live by. So it'd be interesting to see how New Town Rise are challenged, but I will say the physicality seems to be working. Apart from a loose bowl that Chogo Masame got on the end of, every time they've gone forward they've seemed to be closed down. As Rick Ricky Chamora is it? Looks to cut his way through. Just wide. Lovely footwork and weaving the way through traffic there, though. That's the ability that Newtown have to be wary of. They can form that wall. They can be a stone. They can be physical. But you've got that, got that ability of Ricky Chamora and Shago and Marzme we've seen a little bit off so far in this match. They can take players on. It's just about deciding whether you're going to go to or drop back. Because they all rush towards Ricky Chamora or Shago and Marzme or Marcy Benjamin if he comes on. They'd have the ability to cut through, and then that leaves your back open. It's just about being strong in the defence, communicating well, and continuing that pressure play. Ichimura sends it into the box. Nothing doing temporarily. Just a quick infringement foul into the box there. I think that was Bidwell, who came in looking to shoulder the ball a little bit. They were just playing from the back quietly. Pace. Devonport just looking a fraction shaky. Shoved off the ball there by Matt Pace. Tidy through ball. Back down to Johnson. Johnson couldn't get his way through the mark there. Lofted to Bidwell. Barton will happily claim. Lofted forward. Put Je race on Cook. Jeezy was lucky <laughs> in his box there. Looked like he wanted to chest it with his, uh, with his chest, but uh, elected to clear it another way. Well, that's my philosophy. I wasn't... I wouldn't say it was absolutely fantastic, but when in doubt, kick it out was what I was doing. Though a little bit of danger there is that Dadney looking to apply that pressure. As we were saying, that Devonport do so, we'll apply that consistent pressure. Lovely pass there by Kieran Mulraney. Another... Well, it looks like a good pass there, Luca. Caught off a bit guard there. No, David Cox saw it coming, and good bit of leadership there from the skip. <laughs> Lots of toe pokes here already. <laughs> Loving it by Mulraney. Right out of the toe book of Brody Dennehy himself, the golden boot. Dennehy unsuccessful then. We can just hear the frustration as Bidwell looks to complete the pass. Originally unsuccessful. 
Lovely through ball there to Shogo Mazame. Bidwell got to win the foot race. He's under pressure by Luke Backhouse. Backhouse makes a challenge and Bidwell rises to such a challenge. Bidwell takes a tiny little touch, looks to weave his way through. Go back to the security of the back line as they drive forward, do they, through Taylor last. Loose ball. Now again, Jamie Cook-Ross, the challenge, a safe pair of hands. Stonewall at the back. And here they go again. As the veteran centre-back Barton plays back to his teammate Bidwell. Barton again. Just play through. Ichimura looks to turn. Potentially looking for the overlap, and he finds it. Ichimura. Working his way through the box. He's just been taken down there. Is that a penalty? No. Looks like the referee will say there's nothing doing. Nothing doing there, says the ref. Ichimura gone down quite heavily. Though I'm not sure we'd ever quite agree with that call. No, and it doesn't look like uh, Brett Andrews is too happy as well with uh, possible theoretics there by uh, Riku. He's telling him to get off the field or at least take the corner. But... Uh, yeah, well, you heard him just say corner then, Lucas, so... Uh, he, no words. <laughs> Certainly passion on display. Both teams know what this game means. Champions versus champions in Newtown White Eagles and Devonport City Strikers. Both look to play a physical pressure-based game so far. 1-1 one, one here in the 22nd minute as they drive to Newtown. Taylor. Mulraney. Mulraney winning the battle there. <laughs> Doesn't want to take the throw in, gives it to Smith. Smith looks like he's going to go long, but just uh, holding off just over the head there of Walter Pless. Declan Zadasny there. You can always pick him out. Good thing for us commentators. We know who De Declan Zadasny is. <laughs> Very true, mate. Very true. Toby Barton. Barton wins the foot race. It's Jamora there in support. Slow down a bit. Go. Has got time. He'll look to advance. Bidwell. Goes back to Bidwell. Bidwell sees the option to go forward, but he goes to Umazume. Umazume. Mars may pass wide. Look to drive here. Potentially the one-two looking. Takes the man with him. Back to Taylor last. Last switches again to Bidwell. Bidwell. Happy just to give it back down to Mazame. Mazame. Another toe poke, but it's cleared out by Newtown. Not wanting to slow down the play, knowing that they will need to go. Andy Taylor, the Englishman himself. Against Devonport, when the chances come, they are few and far between. So when you do get that chance, even if it's just a metre of space, you've got to take it. You've got to advance. You cannot slow down against this Devonport side. 100%. It's just like playing FIFA. If it's two shots, two goals, that's just the way of the draw. It happens. It happens most certainly against the Devonport side. They do favour. They certainly do favour when the play slows down a little bit. Beardwell looks to play back. He'll just use it time wise, got it, and he'll use the space. Bidwell through to Shogo Mazme. As Mazme drives. Chance here, Brody Denner. He and it's Jamie Cook. Desperate last minute dive. Certainly if he made a mistake there, it was all she wrote. 100 percent there. Matt Pace. Now back happy to go. Can't quite get through Toby Barton. Got to, make, got to make the challenge. Umazame. Now back down to Taylor last. Taylor last happy to send in a through ball, but it's blocked away there by Newtown. Devonport trying to go th on the through ball. Not looking to go aerial, which is a bit surprising. Normally on the wide areas, they do look to play a bit more of an aerial style of a game. They're looking to find the through passes, but Newtown, they have seen every pass and they have dispatched it with regular vigour, but so far I wouldn't say it's been either side in the final third, I'd say it's been a big midfield battle so far. 100%. It looks like they really are trying to go the long ball themselves, Newtown, but they've got to, they've got to think outside the box. Quite literally. <laughs> Quite literally, that's exactly right. <laughs> Devonport slowing the tempo a bit. Look to move forward through Amazame. Crumb's picked up off the line, that the foot race is on. Plays back to the security of the goalkeeper. They do, do Devonport. You mentioned security. Geez, no, I can't matter. Very lucky to get that one away. And he might be in a bit of trouble, but it's cleared away by Kieran Mulraney. A mistake at the back there. Certainly something you don't normally see from Devonport. Normally they're so concise at the back. 
with your players, you've got Barton, you've got your Bidwells, who've been who experienced players who've been in the game for many, many years. Seeing a mistake like that, very few and far between. You don't normally see that from this Devon Ball side. No, definitely not. And we've uh, just touched before uh, on a couple of weeks ago on Football Tasmania TV with uh, the departure of uh, Keegan Smith. So Kalamata are now between the sticks. So there is the pressure on Kalamata to uh, replace such a veteran keeper in Keegan himself. Certainly the good players rise when the pressure is on. That's what you do see. But he has got great support with you, Barton, and then with Bidwell just in front of the goal. Speaking of Barton, he clears it away nicely, simple as you like, though danger's not not out of it yet. No commentators curse there, Luca. Barton mentioned twice. So Dasney looks to go. Not quite as successful as you'd like. As it is Johnson, drives Bidwell, little back heel. Headers it out again. Newtown in the danger zone. Well cleared away. Devonport now trying to get back onto the counter. Shogo. My apologies, Riku Ichimura. Ichimura looks to drive. He's got Bidwell running through the channel. Misplaced pass is a little bit too far in front. As here you go, Newtown on the counter. Pace. Trying to utilise the pace himself, and he's just been taken down. There was at least four Devon Port players who couldn't quite believe it, and uh, Kieran Moradi has also pointed to the ground and uh, wave of the finger as well, but the referee's decision will stand. But uh, it's uh, not stopping the appeals from uh, Kieran Moradi. <laughs> but this is, uh, this is the big opportunity here for Newtown. Andy Taylor, no secret away from loving a set piece. Got to try to utilise it, Luca. Got to utilise the chances. They will come... But it's just about taking them when they do come, converting those chances. Though, no surprise there, the big Declan Zadasny goes into the wall. <laughs> to try and win the aerial battle. Got to get the tall timber in there. He is towering over Brody Dennehy there. Goodness me. The ball's going to fly from the Eagles. Goes low. Not the delivery I would have expected there from Andy Taylor. Former beach side and, sorry my apologies, uh, Hobart City FC now. Player uh, along with uh, Kimber Lyons as well. Bidwell plays back through. Goes. Dennehy. Ichimura in support. Looking for the overlap. They're marked by the man. Taylor. Working his way through the traffic. Back down to Taylor. Johnson. Sends it into the box. Cleared away by Devonport. Big Brett Andrews coming out of nowhere there. The Mars man with a bit of pace through the middle trying to win it. Not quite though. Zadasny cushioned header trying to find but no one there. Johnson again. That's a wasted opportunity there by Newtown. Johnson's uh, making his mark already, Luca. Johnson so certainly on the cross in particular getting it from the wide areas through into the middle. Just getting the it's just, just about getting those numbers into the box on the delivery. We saw that first goal came from the right hand side, cross through similar as you like on the header was Taylor. Absolutely fantastic header. So for the moment it looks to be a bit of a roll reversal. Devonport playing through the middle and Newtown taking the wide areas. Certainly not something you see every day. As Umazume looks to play through. He's got a couple on. Bidwell happy to go back. Dom Smith. Now Charles Bidwell. Works through one. Can't work through the other. Denport still pushing through. Denport on the loose ball. Cleared it nicely. Does Newtown. As Denport do play back to the security of the experience. Kalamata clears forward. Looking to go up the right-hand side. We've got a game on our hands, Luger. Newtown are definitely taking it to Denport. Great to see. Particularly the pressure game. I, I love seeing... I love seeing a contest like this where you've got a team who's great under pressure, who plays that fantastic physical game that Devonport do, and that athleticism. Newtown giving them that challenge, playing the style of playing the style of play that Devonport have manufactured so so well. As the cross comes in, wasted opportunity. Does Newtown so reminiscent of the first goal? He's not to put it in though, just over the crossbar. They waste a chance, Tanner. Definitely. Luke Backhouse is working his way down the wing. Happy to whip in the cross, but the header was just wide. Again, these are the chances you have to take against such a high-caliber side in the Devonport City Strikers. 
one thing Devonport do so well on the new town aren't going to dislike is as soon as that mistake comes, Devonport are onto it. They know how to patch that up and they know that that mistake's not going to happen again. So when you get a chance like that, when you just catch them off, off kilter a little bit, you know it's not going to come again. Rikuichi Mora. Time do Newtown. Go through. White again. Barton looks to rise the challenge. They look to play back through. Back heel. Tries to find the runner. Jeez, pace was caught between a uh, brick wall right there next to Charles Bidwell. Bidwell, the big physical presence at the back along with Barton. We've seen a lot of them so far in this match. Not playing a typical centre back role. Not staying in front of not staying in front of the box. They have been moving forward, but almost playing midfielder has Bidwell and always playing as a left midfielder has Barton so both those players have been putting that influence and having that impact on the game so far and you're going to need to see any players stand up when you're under the pressure. Definitely Luca, definitely mentioned matchups before, Matt Pace has now drifted off to uh, off Rich, Riku Ichimura now happy to work his way back down to the midfield and down the right flank Devonport lifted over, Zadazny Sam Pepper waves the flag up there It will be Newtown to take. Throwing comes. Devonport numbers everywhere. Do Newtown drop low. A bit of miscommunication there. Forces the mistake. Shogo Omasame on the ball. Dom Smith to take the throw in. Smith. Tidy footwork there. Happy to go back. Finds the feet of Kieran Mulraney. Mulraney to Ichimura. Ichimura plays back, happy to slow the tempo. As they do find Dennehy, Mr. Rapid, Golden Boot. Well, Mazame calling for the ball there. Only blocked away by Matthew Pace. It's a shaky pass there by Newtown. Ichimura tries to go through the legs, bit of a nutmeg though. The gates are closed as quickly as they open. Dennehy. Chests it off the ball there. Taylor last. Ran into the big brick wall of Andy Taylor. Backhouse. Happy to throw it back. Taylor just lurking behind there by Mulroney. It's going to be a bit of physicality battle between those two. Pace. Pace trying to find a ball through. Newtown not going forward at the moment. They're just, they're just poking. They're just probing for that chance. The ball lofted over. Nobody home. Barton happily clears. Taylor, though, Thinking looks, about the shot. looks to have a go. The overlap comes. Strong challenges both go down. As the official does blow for the result, it will... You know, I think it'll be Devonport to take. Good to see the sportsmanship there with uh, Andy Taylor and his uh, opposition. Andy Taylor... The sportsmanship, you love to see a bit of sportsmanship. Not quite what we saw with Ichimura up the other end, though. No, <laughs> definitely not. Brett Andrews certainly let him know what he thought about that one. Goodness me, we weren't too sure if it was a penalty. He was calling for a corner, and in the end, nothing doing. Nothing doing at all. The th theatrics, potentially, of Ichimura, I'm not too certain, though. Speaking of the man himself. Good bit of pressure. Johnson. Happy to throw it back into play. Ichimura tries to find Zadazny. Zadazny's bodied off there by Brett Andrews. That's another tall matchup we'll be uh, keeping an eye on today. Good bit of work there from and Andrews, particularly Zadazny being that physical presence. Almost oh, every physical battle he's in, he's going to his favourite to win. So fantastic bit of work there from Andrews to keep the tall man in the box and keep him locked in the cage. Brett Andrews, no stranger to physicality himself, just letting him know that. I am here next to you, Zadazny. You just try it. Now, letting Zadazny know he's there for the challenge. Anything Zadazny does try, he's there and he's ready to bounce right on top of him again. Zadazny, we haven't seen a lot of him so far in this match. A little bit, little bit odd, given how he is the tall forward. We haven't seen a lot of him so far in this match. and He's been locked down, if we're being totally honest, so far in this match. Oh, 100%, definitely. Those tactically, it's a good bit of work there from Newtown, keeping him locked down, keeping that tall danger forward locked down. It's been a good bit of pressure work for him so far as Newtown go forward. Into the safe hands of Noah Kalamata. Devonport under the pressure here in this final, in this past 10 minutes rather. As Barton looks to go up the wing. 
Vaughting the challenger. Ichimura back to Barton. Barton. Just calling for a pass. There's nothing doing. They're happy to go backwards, though. Mulraney. Will he send in the long ball? He, he had to think about it. Thought was there, though. Nothing comes with his dinner. He looks to drive outside of the boot, tries to find the pass. He has had a lot of outside the boot <laughs> passes already here today. Not quite a conventional pass. A lot of toe pokes, a lot of outside of the boot. Not normally what you see in matches like this, but... Definitely not, but if it comes off, it comes off. A unique style of play. When it comes off, you're a tactical genius. 100% <laughs> Luca. Out in support are the Newtown fans. See a few around the ground at the moment. Braving the conditions, a bit unfavourable. Zadazny looks to lay a pass through to Shogo Umazume. Got to use the speed here on a bit of a break. Ah, uh, Devonport. Muradi. Just under a bit of pressure. Happy to go back. Now to Tom Smith. Back to Umadi. Umazume. Well saved there by Cook. Cook there under pressure. Well, Newtown so far have been uh, have been right in the challenges Devonport have set. Though it's been a real physical battle, particularly through the midfield. Not a lot of that fast counter-attacking action, just a lot of smart technical passing, a lot of strong challenges as we've just seen in front of us. No, definitely not. They're actually locking down the play as well with uh, Dennehy and Enriku Ichimura as well. So, fair play to Newtown. They are putting up the fight. He's now putting up the fight. We've seen the danger tactically that both those players pose as Riku Ichimura in the wide areas. No, the whistle is blown. Potential offside call, I'm not too certain. Yes, I do believe that was an offside call there by AR Sam Pepper. Jamie Cook just confirming where the ball needs to be taken. Just approaching uh, half time here. Newtown did have the lead early through uh, Andy Taylor, but uh, Devonport quickly did come back. Newtown through Anthony Taylor in the fifth minute. What a fantastic header that was, but Shogo Amazma in the 11th answers back as quickly as, as quickly as you can blink. Geez, that's a rough tackle there by Johnson onto Ichimura. Johnson and Ichimura have been, been a tantalising matchup so far in this game. Ichimura looking to use that space, looking to cut through, looking to play the game he's become so renowned for. But he's been locked down a little bit. He hasn't really had the space all the time or the impact that he'd like to see in a game like this. Johnson's proving his worth. He was the last minute change and he's actually been all over the field. So fair play to him. Taylor works his way through to Matt Pace. That's well defended there by Riku. Not something you see by a forward. Riku getting back, working his way around the pitch. Bidwell looks play back. Risky pass. The mistake nearly cost him. Mulraney has the head up, sends the ball over to Brody Dennehy. Will he take him on? He's thinking. He does try to. Zadazny. Zadazny shot taken and scored. Is that Kieran Mulraney? Or is that Shogo Amazme? I'm not too certain. We'll see in a minute. But what a strike that from Devonport. As soon as the chance comes, they're right on the necks of Newtown White Eagles. That's fantastic play from Brady Dennehy. Looking to take him on, give him that little bit of space, and he just puts a tantalising pass through. Yes, I do believe that was uh, Riku Ichimura uh, on the strike there. Japanese duo already combining. Shogo with the equaliser, and uh, Riku Ichimura already on the scoreboard. 40th minute goal, heading into halftime. Newtown heading into halftime, down 2-1. Not something you like to see, not something that's favourable. Can they get an answer back here in this first half in what remains of it? Well, they've lost the advantage. I mean, obviously, having the early goal, they could have settled for the 1-1 at half time, but now the backs are truly against the wall for the White Eagles. And this wall is strong, something the Romans might have built. It is certainly a tough, tough battle ahead of them in this second half. Heading in 2-1 down, Devonport away from home. It'll be, it'll be nice heading into the Devonport changing rooms. Now, they did go into the first half at a disadvantage, but coming out of it on top, that fight, that consistent pressure, it's good stuff here from Devonport so far. Though I can't discredit Newtown, up against a really strong side. They're a very good team, a very good team. Truly a David and Goliath matchup here today. Back into play. Smith, Bidwell, Mulraney. 
Barton again. We're seeing here a little bit here from Devonport, looking to quicken the tempo a little bit, looking to get the pace going. Why wouldn't you? Five minutes remaining in the half. Chance to go forward and potentially even get a third. As Budo looks to use his pace, go forward. Umazame, Bidwell again, looks to take on the runner. He looks to get in front, he goes down. Bit of a shoulder into the back there by Andy Taylor. Looks like he might pick up the slice of cheese. First one for today, and he has. Slice of cheese comes out of the pocket for Newtown's goal scorer. Not really what you like to see heading into half time. Though certainly an eventful game so far. A few girls, a slice of cheese comes out in a physical and pressure back contest. Definitely. Now we see Rikuri Chimura, Japanese sensation himself, now with the set piece. It's a bit of a throwback with the hair. Sends it into the box. It's not the delivery he's wanted. That's a lovely save there by Jamie Cook. Even if he didn't get a hold of it fully, it was well cleared there by Luca. Well, we can see what appears to be the White Eagle start getting in there, having a nice bit of a touch. Barton plays. Mulraney to Barton again. Barton lofts the shot forward. Trying to find Ichimura. Ichimura going to apply the pressure. Jamie Cook happy to send it right up to the top. No nonsense stuff, Barton. Simple as you like. Touch tries to find Bidwell. Bidwell in with a strong challenge. Dan Hegan looked to make the challenge. Slips a little bit. A physical challenge, as we're seeing so far in this game. Sliding challenge there by Matt Pace. Somehow managed to get the ball. Infringement there by Newtown. Newtown here looking to continue that pressure packed style of play, looking to continue to pile on that physicality. Though it's not quite going the way in this past couple of minutes, not quite as clean as they'd like. No, it's certainly not. Charles Bidwell works down to Brody Dennehy. Dennehy with a lovely pass down to Riku Ichimura. Ichimura to Bidwell. Bidwell has a go! Lofted over the crossbar. Nowhere near the danger zone there for Cook. Wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been a bad goal though, Luca. That was a good theatrics there by Charles Bidwell. Bidwell, as we were saying earlier in this half, you give him the space, he's more than, more than happy to take it on. He's more than happy to have a go at goal. It's nice to see Devonport's team getting around a bit. Having the centre-back, that is Bidwell. He's been playing such a crucial role at back. He's been slowing the tempo down, controlling what would be Newtown's final third. But then going forward, having the chance to score a goal. He's the everywhere man. He is the utility so far in this game. 100% Luca. Charles Bidwell right on the money today. As the official blows the whistle. Shout out to his brother Eddie Bidwell, who's mo most likely watching the stream. Eddie Bidwell now having his craft in uh, Logan Lightning. Wish you all the best, Eddie. New talent to go. Lofted over. That's a lovely long ball. Exactly what you need to do. It's cleared only as far as Bidwell. Bidwell looks to win the aerial battle, doesn't. Ball goes to ground as Shogo Umazame, no nonsense, looks to take it on. Cuts through, chopped down from the back. Referee ways play on. Riku Ichimura. Wasn't a bad idea to be fair, just couldn't quite get a hold of who he was after. Or what he was after, rather that matter. It appears he was trying to find his fellow countryman Shogo Umazame. Though it does come, Umazame on the touch. In the danger zone for Newtown, Devonport look to go. They switch, trying to find Ichimura, but the height difference there is so critical as Newtown do win the aerial battle. Oliver Johnson. Oh, was he just taken there by Charles Bidwell? The referee says no. Andy Taylor wants him to bring it back, and the referee will inspect this one. Personally, I don't think I saw anything. Did you, Luca? Neither did I. Bidwell looks more than comfortable to pick up the ball and take it back. I'm not too sure what happened there. Maybe just a bit of a um, a bit of a rough knock, a bit of a loose hand potentially. They don't reckon anything anything too serious. Not a bookable offence by any by any case of the word. He's holding his nose. That being said, you mentioned before with the uh, long ball play, which we haven't seen from Devonport. Now it looks like they are just starting to utilise it again. Just doing what they do best. Happy to switch it to the left. Happy to switch it to the right. That switching play. They certainly have tolls forward. You, of course the specimen that is the Dasney. They've got Bidwell and Barton at the back just in case the aerial battle doesn't quite go your way. As we're into, as we're into extra time of this first half, first 45 as Bidwell looks to patrol around. Itchamore, a bit of a slip over the ball. 
His fellow countryman Shago Amasma with a strong challenge there. <laughs> Nothing doing there. But referee ways play on, much to the dismay of Riku Ichimura. Mulroney wants him to have a look at the decision. Referee saying there's nothing doing there, Kieran. Happy to wave back and play. Dom Smith. Smith lofted over. Even in the dying moments, as we're saying about Devonport, even in the final moments of a half, even in the final moments of the game, they're still going to continue to be that athletic side, continue to apply the pressure, continue to be physical. And that work ethics has done wonders for them so far, so far in this season and in seasons past. 100% Newtown undefeated in the Southern Championship at the moment with wins against Hobart United and Olympia respectively. Just sitting third on the table. Can't really look too much into the table though. Three rounds in, can you, Luca? No, you can't really you can't really rely on the table so far. The one thing I will say is Newtown so far not as clinical in the final thirds as you'd like to be. As the whistle is blowing here on this first 45, a minute into stoppage time, it is Devonport through the Japanese duo Riku Ichimura and Shago Amasume who have the lead here after Taylor put Newtown up Funnily enough, in the first five minutes, what do we think of that first half, Tanner? I thought Newtown took it to him, Luca. I thought it was a very strong performance. Devonport did show their class into the end. Japanese duo with Shogo Mazame coming back with the equaliser, followed by that man himself, Riku Ichimura. But Devonport now into the driving seat, so once again, it's going to be very tough for Newtown coming back into the second half, but they have put out the effort, Luca, so you cannot count them out. No, certainly cannot. In the Lacassel Jack Cup here, Newtown Wide Eagles taking on Devonport City Strikers. Certainly been an action packed game so far with a lot of pressure and a lot of physicality. We'll be back with your second half action very, very shortly with Tanico and Luca Forrest on match comms.
Righto, we're back here for the second half action of the Lacassel Jack Cup. Here, supported by McDonald's, the MPL. Newtown White Eagles taking on Devonport City Strikers in this second half. Well, certainly it was an action-packed first half, Tanner. was full of that physical pressure-based football you love to see. The Japanese duo for Devonport, Riku Ishimura and Shogo Umazume, playing some absolutely fantastic stuff, scoring both Devonport's goals. And then Taylor... Opening, opening the account in the goal scoring department with a fantastic header reminiscent of Robin van Persie in the 2010 World Cup for the Netherlands, the Flying Dutchman. What do you reckon of that first half, mate? Absolutely fantastic stuff. Yeah, Newtown took it to him, Luca. I thought it was a very good performance. Uh, Devonport obviously showed their class uh, towards the end of the first half, but anything's possible in the second. That is going to be a very uphill battle for the White Eagles themselves. As they go through, do Devonport looking to open the account early with a bit of pace, a bit of speed. Do Newtown. Oh, chopped challenge there. Went down, did that of Riku Ishimura. Looks a bit of a limp to him. He looks to be fine. Though certainly he has been... Had a, he's got a bit of a target on his back so far in this game. There's been a lot of physical uh, challenges his way. and He's gone down a few times. 100%. He's had uh, Matt Pace on him. He's had Brett Andrews. And him being not the uh, most physically... Uh, in him not being the tallest, most physically imposing uh, player there is, certainly it's been a challenge for him to overcome, but he's got on the score sheet so far in this game, so I reckon that's been pretty good so far at the moment. As Brody Denner, he looks to cut across and make a challenge, though the ref bro blows the whistle. He wants to bring it back, he wants to slow down the play, and says, not quite, mate. Yes, uh, Charles Bidwell just uh, down temporarily. He was uh, holding his head. We do hope he's OK. He's back on his feet, so that's good to see. Good to see that Bidwell back on his feet. Now, Bidwell went out. It, De Devonport wouldn't, very, wouldn't be very happy with that. He's been a utility so far in this game, and in most games Devonport do play. He plays an integral role from the back, moving into midfield on occasion and possibly even get, getting a chance up front. So good to see Bidwell up and about. Without a shadow of a doubt. We're also uh, going to mention that there's been a cup set already, Luca. Uh, Launceston City have just knocked out South Hobart out of the uh, Milan Lacker Seljet Cup. 2-1. Uh, That's a quite shock, Luca, don't you think? I, I certainly agree. South Hobart obviously being juggernaut in Tasmanian football as a whole, them being a big club. Every every team they got, their under-21s coming through, their women's WSL side, the MPL side, of course, all of their teams impose and they impose themselves and they are a very, very strong side. So them being knocked out this early, it's, it's an upset you'd, you'd never expect to see. So hopefully, or potentially, Newtown could rally behind the upset upset calls and potentially upset Devonport here today. Though it will be an uphill battle for them. That's very well said, Luca. Back live now, Marathi. Low cross, and it's in! I, I don't believe that Zadazny got a touch on it, but doesn't matter. Devonport will claim that goal, and that will be 3-1. Marathi trying to cross it in, looking to find someone's boot. I'm not quite sure it was Zadazny, as you were saying, or if it was him totally, but I don't know what Jamie Cook was doing there. He was stuck to that goalpost. I'm, I'm lost for words. I have no clue what happened just then. Referees are actually consulting the decision, though, so this goal may not stand. We're just going to confirm. No, the flag has gone up, so the goal will not count. That is a massive lead off there for the Newtown White Eagles. Newtown there. They could have been under immense pressure, under a, under a hail of fire there. Going 3-0 down so far, going 3-1 down in this match, it certainly wouldn't be the way to go about it, though the flag is raised and things settle down for them at the moment. Though certainly a, an early scare in the second half. Definitely. <laughs> could have been curtains right there. Did well. Happy to push the play back. Kieran Mulraney. Now down to Dom Smith. No pressure from Newtown. Newtown, no pressure so far as they go forward. The one thing Newtown don't want to do, even though they are down, is, is switch off. That's the one thing you cannot afford to do against Devonport. Even for a minute, even for five minutes, even for a small period of time, you cannot switch off. No, definitely not. Uh, just uh, following up uh, on our substitution earlier, it was uh, Adam Kewen uh, who was uh, subbed off. We believe it's uh, hamstring related, and uh, he was replaced uh, by Ash Fisher. So uh, thank you to Brody Holmes uh, for sending that one in to us. Thanks, Brody. Always appreciate the help, Brody, mate. Thanks very much. Makes our job a lot easier here in the studio. Though wishing him all the best. Hamstrings never a fun, never a fun injury to have. So wishing him all the best as Bidwell comes flying through. Not quite Van Percy. Uh, 
We'll call it Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> Fantastic, Luca. As Denny looks to go to Riku Ishimura, that man, the danger man himself, gold boot, the danger Japanese. Taylor goes through, looks to play a little bit of one-two stuff, ticky-tacka style, so they go wide. Brett Andrews, happy to send it through. Through to Fisher, Fisher just taken off the ball there, Brody Dennehy. Couldn't find the Dasney. looks like he actually had a minor slip there, possibly into the wet patches of uh, Clare Street. Personally playing on it, there are a lot of them, Luca. Mm. Without a doubt, it's a bit like uh, some have called it the Somme. I'm not that making that up. Some have generally called it the Somme, though. In particularly in the wet, it being Newtown's home ground, it's that's the one thing they can hold on to. It's a home ground game for them. They are at home. The conditions are not favourable for Devonport, so they're going to have to look to build on top of that. Build on top of that solid foundation and look to go again here. Just continue that pressure. Don't switch off. Don't allow Dennehy or Ichimura or Umar's mate to have that space and just continue to make a fight. One player they're going to have to close down, I believe, tactically, is Bidwell. Yeah, 100%. Kieran Mulraney now works down. Ichimura looks to make a challenge. Unsuccessful as Newtown looks to go through, though. Devonport numbers are everywhere. Brett Andrews just toes it out. You mentioned the playing surface of uh, Newtown. I was actually uh, fortunate to play on it uh, probably about five years ago when I was in the socials. Um, it was bucketing down of rain uh, and we uh, lost 5 nil away from home. So uh, less said on that one the better. And I even picked up a yellow card for uh, stepping over the line at the kickoff. That's, that's not good enough, mate. <laughs> Which, uh, we don't like slice of cheese here. No, that's not no, good so I wasn't too uh, impressed on that front. But uh, yeah, certainly learnt the rules on that one. Barton. Happy to head the ball down. Ooh, almost a handball there by Bidwell. Bidwell there. Almost. On the hand as Newtown looked to go. They've got wide positions here as Umazume looks to make the challenge. Strong bit of physicality there. As Smith looks to take back. Pace. Bullied off the ball. Goes back to Dasney. Jeez, he'd be annoyed that that goal didn't count before. You can just see the facial expression, just see the demeanour. He's not very impressed. He's not very happy. No, not at all. They had a chance to go 3-1 up in this game, particularly away from home, and a pretty tif difficult game against a firing and physical Newtown side. Certainly the pressure and the con renewed pressure, the physicality of this game, it will be beginning to get to the players. Definitely. Throw in for the Newtown White Eagles. We Butler up the line, looking to find Matthew Pace. He's got one to beat and he's got one behind. Good bit of effort, but not quite not quite the result you'd hope for. Uh, the onlooker in, uh, in the field there, just uh, hoping for something to happen, but uh, nothing doing. So it looks like he's going to keep walking, like uh, hopefully not away from the ground itself. <laughs> Back live now, Andy Taylor. Then he looks to try. Doesn't. Lofts over to Backhouse. We Barton. Barton sends it back into play. Only out as far as the side. Throwing comes. Ichimura looks to meet. Lofts back. Oh, boy. That was by Sadazny there. That was a bit of a shoulder block, but somehow it's we wave play on. Anyway, through ball. This could be dangerous. That's a lovely save there by Jamie Cook. Dennehy. Dennehy takes aim, and Dennehy scores. That will be 3-1. That goal will not be disallowed. Fantastic bit of play there from Dennehy. He draws Jamie Cook out of the box. He just allows him to come, allows him to get that little bit of confidence. Takes the ball. The defenders are caught off their line a little bit and just sinks a beautiful goal right down the ivory needle. Well, there we go. Devonport City strikers are up now. 3-1 against Newtown at Clare Street. Yes, just got a lot harder to climb now for Newtown Eagles, but that was a lovely goal there by Dennehy. Not too sure how that shoulder block was waved to play on, but maybe it was something off the ball that we just didn't see, Luca, but no. the eyes can be deceiving sometimes. They certainly can, given how the ground's a bit wet, maybe a bit of a slip, maybe a bit of misplaced footing, finding one of those wet patches potentially. Those are Dazney just control that ball, step over, and Devonport just came with numbers forward, particularly on the right-hand side. You've got Dazney controlling that left through the midfield, it was certainly a, a moment where Newtown are under pressure. But now the window has just been closed a little bit more. Window of opportunity. 
as the time it begins to become their enemy so far. 100%. Dom Smith sends it down to Riku. Charles Bibwell will lead off the ball. Taylor. Oh, there's been a bit of a challenge there, but yes, the referee will bring that one back. Referee not a fan of that one. It will come back. Taylor calling for the ball to be taken. Happy to walk away from it though, doesn't want to be the one to take the piece. <laughs> Happy to run into the box and try to get into a flying Dutchman header himself again, Luca. Most certainly Taylor opened the account very fantastically in the first five with a fantastic header. They look to go again. A little bit of danger there, but Kalamata rises to the challenge. And he'll take it safely with Bidwell and Barton in support. He looks to drive now. Potential change here for Newtown. George Ivanov might be on the pitch. We haven't quite seen it yet. One of these, um, one of the changes wasn't quite caught on camera, so we'll keep an eye out for that. As the Dasney again looks to go, almost gets a boot in the back. A little bit of a, um, a little bit of an unconventional player there going forward. Yes, he is tall timber, Declan Zadasny. Hope we have that uh, pronunciation right there, Declan. Toby Barton on the throw-in, goes up the line. The Dasney, the bouncing ball favours him. Tall so Timber himself, tries to weave his way through. Only as far. Bidwell tries to find Dennehy. Dennehy the danger man again, his tail is up, he's scored a goal. Cross comes in. Unfortunately doesn't find a man. No, Marathi did not get enough power onto that one, unfortunately. Newtown happy to work their way through to the counter. Now Taylor, oh, geez, I don't know what he was trying to do there, but somehow it stayed into play. Back down to Toby Barton. Barton fights his, fights his way off two. His marker was lost, along with drifting in from centre midfield was Taylor. Uh, the ref blows his whistle again. Not quite happy. It'll be Devonport to take. Barton on the ball. They play back. Mulraney finds the options down to Raku. Doesn't want to weave his way through the traffic. Finds the goal scorer, Brody Dennehy. Dennehy, now to Raku. Now to last. Raku again. It's a nice switched ball. Switch attempt there by Devonport. Cleared away. Uh, it'll be Devonport right back on the pressure again as Shogo Umazume tries to make the challenge. Not quite successful though. Newtown through Taylor look to get out of there. Pace is in the wide area waiting for the break. Wolf for a body's there before. Pace couldn't get through. Shogo couldn't get through. Marathi. <laughs> Marathi does. <laughs> Bidwell. Back to Riku. Now to Charles Bidwell. We want some, eh? No nonsense clear from Newtown. As the loose ball comes, Brody Dennehy right on the, ready to take the challenge. He's got two to defend. Dance as well. Good bit of footwork. Very well. Now Raku wanted to go down to the right to find the flank of Dennehy. Just a bit of hold-up play here by Denport, but they've worked their way through here well. Taylor last. Drives the ball forward, tries to find Zadazny. Zadazny, not the touch you'd expect, as it will be Newtown going out a goal through that of Jamie Cook. Just approaching the 60th minute mark. Looks to go wide. The mistake comes from Maradi Mar right back on the pressure. Puts his foot right back on the gas again. Just that, that hunter mentality that we're seeing here from Devonport. They are 3-1 up so far, and every chance they get, they're applying that pressure. They're right back on the necks of Newtown. Yes, Fabian Moradi is actually certainly doing a very well game here today, replacing uh, Nick Lanou Atkinson. I thought he's uh, slotted in very well, looking uh, lively down the flanks. Just approaching the uh, 60th minute now. Wondering if we're going to see the fox in the box, Miles Barnard, or the Nick Lanou Atkinson himself. We'll leave that into the hands of uh, the Devonport coach, Thomas Ballantyne. Tom Ballantyne 
is boys are playing so well here today at the moment. A very physical challenge. Most certainly can't discredit either side. Though I'm, I'm having with a bit of Marcy Benjamin on the pitch at the moment. I'm a big fan of Marcy Benjamin seeing his play in the Summer Cup final when I last commentated a Devonport game. He was absolutely rapid. He came on for Shogo Umazume. So I'd like to see a bit of Marcy Benjamin on though. As you say, Tom Ballantyne and his boys are playing well at the moment. So interesting to see how they're going to shape up in this final 60. Yes, 30. Marcy Benjamin has impressed in pre-season. Also round one against uh, Clarence Zebras. There is a bit of a stoppage in play here. Looks like a slice of cheese might come out there, Luca. I think it might have been off camera. I do believe something came out of the referee's pocket. I think it was a slice of cheese, Tanner. Just happened off camera. I'm not too sure, though what I am... There we are. Yellow card, a slice of cheese. Did you come out in the 60th for the White Eagles? That's the second for the White Eagles in this match so far at the moment. As Devonport will look to switch, not aerial. They will look to play the ground ball through Toby Barton. Pass taken, Ricky Wishimura. Barton goes through, finds a Dasney. Jeez, prick walls everywhere here, Luca. As a Dasney looks to take on two, and both of them drop down. Ball taken off camera. <laughs> Barton. Asking why I can't take in the throw. Back into play. The Dasney. Jeez, uh, I don't really know what happened there, Luca. They certainly an action packed game and a lot happening so far in this f past five minutes. Those Ishimura looks to rush through with a rapid bit of pace and looks to really take it on as Moradi arrives in support. Bidwell. Fancy bit of footwork there through Smith. Bidwell misplaced himself a tiny little bit. As Newtown looked to slow the play down. Bidwell again, strong challenge. But not strong enough to get away with it. <laughs> was a good challenge though. Charles Bidwell, no stranger with the uh, stallion in himself. Most certainly in a game like this where there has been probing from both sides, physicality from both sides, and two slices of cheese from Newtown. If they're not careful, they'll have the whole block <laughs> of cheese in their back pocket. It'll be Newtown to play from the back. That philosophy back in play. When in doubt, kick it out. Newtown's ball girl, just happy to retrieve that for Noah Kalamata. Thought you was a player for a moment there, Tanner. About to call it. Lucky I didn't. As it'd be Noah Kalamata to play out from the back. Simple as you like. Strong bit of pressure there from Newtown. Lofted header. Andy oh. Taylor. Looks like he was... Oh, I couldn't actually quite work out what that foul was for either. It might have been offside, actually. I can't actually see the uh, AR's flag on that one, Luca, but uh, play has gone back. Anyway, back underway. Kieran Mulraney. Just finds uh, Toby Barton. Zadazny. And it's a bit of footwork from Zadazny. He's got Umazume, Ichimura and Dennehy in support. We know how rapid they all are. Each of them a goal scorer in their own respect. Though the ref's blown his whistle. They're going to slow it down a bit. It'll be Ichimura on the set piece. I don't quite know if he's in range. He'll look to put it in, though, for a header, potentially. I don't reckon he'll have a go from this distance. No, he's at least 30 yards out, possibly more. 34 if you want to get out the Richter scale. Sends it into the top. That's a lovely tackle there by Jamie Cook. Jamie Cook, they're under a bit of pressure, though. He rises to the challenge, and that ball is lofted rapidly. Caught in the winds of Clare Street. <laughs> well, they are the Eagles, after all. Then he looks to head that ball away, though the bounce is against him. The whistle's blown again. Yes, very whistle happy uh, early uh, in this second half. Even uh, Jack Harrison on the side couldn't quite believe it, assistant coach for uh, Newtown. Good bit of respiratory training. Blowing the whistle, getting those lungs up and about. <laughs> Certainly they would be tiring both sides at the moment, given how physical this contest has been as it's driven into the box but cleared nicely by that of Devonport as Dennehy looks to go through Ichimura he's got Zadazny in support looks to play through not quite as Zadazny goodness me just slipped on his foot there that was a lovely chance there that being said Ichimura happy to get the ball back only as far as Brett Andrews my apologies David Cook sorry captain
Brody Dennehy wants the options. Nothing presenting just yet. Toby Barton now down to Bidwell. Mole Rainey. Dom Smith. Look to play through Smith. They go wide. Maradi. Somehow hugged the line and kept it in play. Taylor last. Taylor v Taylor. Did well. Couldn't work his way through that one. A strong thud as boot meets ball. Uh, the result goes away. Newtown tries to oh, Wow. Jeez, that is a that is a very nasty challenge. There was almost a, a, a turn, almost an attempted turn to try to get through, but that was a very hard knock. He's it's gone down. He's stayed down so far. AR Sam. AR just calling away. That one. My apologies, that's actually not Sam Pepper out there, the AR. Apologies to Sam out there. Jack Harrison can't actually quite believe it. Hands over the face. Certainly is a strong challenge that came out of nowhere, like a freight train on the tracks. He ran through. The slice of cheese does come out. The, the charcuterie board of cards is being expanded a little bit. They're sharing around Newtown with two now. Devonport with one of their own. Yes, the block of cheese is certainly starting to come out. Could have the whole lot. Did well. Just continuing to argue. But uh, play will continue. Jeez, that was a hard knock to watch live there, Luca. Lucky he's up. That w that was very nasty. Well, certainly a nasty tackle. Tried to have a bit of a turn. Almost got it. Almost did complete the turn, but just the just that rapid nature of the tackle just straight in. A sense of he was that committed. Once he went down, there was no turning back. So certainly a physical battle here at Clare Street Oval in the wet as both Newtown White Eagles and Devonport play here in the 66th minute. Just fixing the ball around. Zadazny and Dennehy for Devonport on screen. As it is the Newtown White Eagles down by two here this 3-1 contest so far. I believe I can actually see the coach uh, of Newtown, Tommy Fotak, just uh, having a bit of a chuckle with that one there. Not sharing the same enthusiasm of outrage as Jack Harrison. Shot just on target there by... Newtown definitely need to take their chances, but nothing doing, unfortunately. Safe in the hands of Noah Kalamata. Attempted volley there as they go to Barton. Barton plays back, simple as you like, to Bidwell. Bidwell works his way down to the wing. Riku Ichimura, now Barton pushing forward. Not something you see every day. No, now, no most certainly not. Ichimura looks to fetch a few, but the whistle does come. I <laughs> don't think Tom Ballantyne can believe it. He's always frozen stiff. The hands have suddenly moved and he's uh, pointed back to the referee. Now he's waving his arms up and down in the corner, Luca. I, I don't know if that's magic of the cup, but that is sure, sure entertaining. I don't think it's if you have in, you know, clap your hands. I don't think that's what he's doing. No, definitely not. Toby Butler. As we hear a helicopter going overhead. Might be, for the, uh, might be the air ambulance. If this contest gets any more physical, we might need to call them in. Very true. Kalamata just goes short. Bidwell. Bidwell looks to drive. He's got a few in front of him. Lays it off nicely to Taylor Last. Last lofts the ball over. Good looking pass into a bit of space. Murati. How's he going to take the touch? He's got Ichim. He's got Shogo Umazume in support. Cleared nicely by Newtown. Dom Smith just heads it back down. Now to Murati. Alrighty, happy to slow down the tempo. Smith. Mazamay just shoved up the ball there. Moradi. Works his way through one. Can't work through the other. Almost actually takes a tumble there, but he's actually still resilient. Sends the cross into the box. It's a bit of a topsy turvy, but it's a goal. That'll be Brody Dennehy once again. Brody Dennehy with a brace so far in this game. Moradi, though, the commitment that. The passion to play there. Takes on one, two, three, and four of them. Gets, gives him a little bit of space. Crosses in, and Dennehy happy to pick up the crumbs. What a strike that from Devonport. What a strike from Brody Dennehy. Aptly named. Devonport strikers himself. Brace there for Brody Dennehy. Golden boot. No stranger to the goals. Brody Dennehy was very, very quiet in that first half, but now he's, he's opened up his little bag of tricks, and he's starting to show us a little bit more of what he's got hidden up that sleeve. And so the... Um, 
the challenge and the mountain gets that little bit steeper. Speaking of the mountain, looks like the mountain of Declan Zadazny is now coming off. We are going to see the return of the fox in the box himself, Miles Barnard. Also, Nicholas Lecou Atkinson, and I do believe Riku Ichimura has also been substituted. Nothing wrong with doing that in cup competition, just to save the legs, going back up to Valley Road. And they're off again here. The whistle has been blown. Maradi in the wide areas. Goal left for Devonport. Now the challenge becomes a little bit greater for Newtown. Though time is becoming the uh, ever-present enemy, Tanner. Yes. Could very well be curtains now. Never know in cup football, but it definitely does get hard. Devonport now looking for the fifth. And it would most definitely be game over Red Rover. Tackles just flying everywhere. Oh, that's lovely football there. Oh, be well. Couldn't get through the second challenge. Beautiful bit of footwork there. Unfortunately, nothing came of it. All that effort, all that precision, and nothing comes of it. Though They do play it from the back just quietly. They've got some new fresh legs on the pitch. It'd be interesting to see how Devonport utilised these new fresh legs. But they, they just long balled it, and there was no one there, Luca. They're all at the top. Don't really know what was going on there. Any chance you would got to take against Devonport? Anyway... We're not the coaches, we're only the commentators, ladies and gentlemen. We can only commentate on what we see. Not judge the plays. Shogo Amaz made there. We saw him running through the channel, through the mid. He was looking for that ball forward. He might get it after all. Fox in the box. Barnard combines already with Lenu Atkinson. Lenu Atkinson looks one way. Tries to find Marathi. It's, it's well cleared there by uh, Henry Fack. Happy to get a quick back underway. Lanou Atkinson did well. Did well back down to Lanou. Did well again. It's got Maradi wide. He'll have a go. Looks to find a pass through. A little bit of a strenuous stretch that one from Newtown. Yes. Stretching to clear that out of danger. It certainly was. Could have been very dangerous if it actually did pull out to be a, a groin injury there or at least a calf. Oh, that's lovely footwork there. Oh, just takes out the head there of, uh, I believe it was Greta Andrews on that one. Well, that Valentine stole certainly certainly much prevalent in this second half and certainly prevalent for the whole game. Take a few on the body, take a few risks, show that determination and that physical ability. Oh, Smith. Is the card coming out? A slice of cheese. Oh, Nip down to Woolworths, Tanner. We might need another block in a minute. <laughs> That's four slices of cheese now for the game. Two apiece here. Oh, I don't know what to say. Quite a physical contest. This a couple of slices of cheese. As Smith tried to take his way through and win the ball, disallowing Newtown the fair chance. And so the official blew the whistle and said, you come back here, son. i got a dairy product for you to try. It's lovely references there, Luca. Paul thrown into the box. Import just looking for any urgency possible. Will be a corner. Bidwell pleading the decision, but nothing doing. No hurry to get the ball back underway. Would have thought there would have been some urgency. Especially it being Newtown whose corner it is. This chance they saying they come feeling far between against De Devonport. So time being the ever-present enemy, they're going to look to have to quicken the tempo a little bit. Drops deep, bid well. Flag has gone up. Will the referee confirm it? No, it's a foul the other way. I, I didn't really think there was too much penalty-wise into that, but the but I did well to go down relatively theoretically. But we're not the referees, Luca. We certainly are not. Did well, back onto his feet. Finds down Dom Smith. The cries of Dommy waiting for the ball. Fox in the box, Barnard. Looks like Shogo was trying to wave his way through there. Nothing doing, running into the wall of Henry Fagg. Newtown now looks play out from the back. Bit of a risky move. The goalkeeper comes out of the box. A bit unconventional, that, from Newtown, though, I suppose. In a situation like this, you're going to try all your options, see what's going to work. 
Fox in the box, Barnard just oh, it displays with his own pass there. Very great to see Miles Barnard back out there. Bit of a strip to the legs, the spectator there shows a bit of fancy footwork. Everyone around Clare Street Oval showing their class at the moment. It's Barton. It's it back into the defensive way. Taylor last. Now to Dom Smith. All alone. Could drive it if he wanted to. Happy to bring it back down to Marathi. Did well. That's a lovely foot there by Charles. Good use of the body as well. Lent in the left-hand side. Drew the man in. Then quickly turned. Nice touch taken. Fantastic bit of footwork from Bidwell. We've seen a bit of his footwork so far in this final past 10 minutes rather. And he's been... He's been showing that classy footwork. He's been showing a bit more of a classy side to him at the moment. Speaking of, did well. Sent in a lovely through ball. Marathi. Flag has gone up, so I do believe that's an offside. Jamie Cook wanting to get the ball underway as quick as possible. Lex to go short. Newtown can be proud of their efforts today. Sorry, Luca, but... Um, Port just looking to be too strong, too good on the day. Newtown, though, in that first half now, they did look to make that challenge. We did see a lot of them. We did see a lot of class football coming from them. We certainly thought they'd be up for the challenge, but it's just been that, that class story from Devonport. We've seen them in such a great run of form so far at this moment, what they've become accustomed to doing. Just that grinding football, slowing the tempo down, waiting for those chances, and using their class players. The Japanese do, of course. Brody Dennehy, the golden boot, and using their utilities in midfield have just proved too, too good on the day. Yes, absolutely. Back live now. Shogo. Just saved there by Jamie Cook. Good bit of hands there, doesn't take it directly, just pats it down, slows the momentum. As Bidwell there with a bit more fancy footwork, not quite as fancy as his little spin earlier, but that ball will run out. Yes, you mentioned the difference of uh, quality when it does come to the teams. Obviously, a Southern Championship side against MPL is never going to be easy. We did see that last night with uh, Gnorky Knights uh, winning 5-0 over Taruna. Taruna were actually missing up to eight players in that one, but unfortunately, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Trina with their exit and uh, Knights into the quarterfinals, Luca. And then obviously that match we saw a bit earlier on today, we saw the result of Launceston downing the Titans. South Hobart 2-1 two, two there. It appeared, having a look at the results at half time, that South Hobart just switched off a little bit in that second half. All goals coming in that first 45 and just the pressure and that's turned off a little bit, which, uh, which isn't the way you should be playing, especially for a team of the calibre of South Hobart. To quote Jim Ross from WWE, I am absolutely astonished that they somehow won that. There's a stoppage in play here. A bit of vocalisation from both coaching benches. Tom Ballantyne, he's, an, he's a bit of a fan of the, um, the voicing of the opinion. Certainly a bit of a noisy touchline out there today. A bit of wind picking up at the moment. Yes, it certainly is coming through the effects mark as well. <laughs> Some more score updates when we can on Football Tasmania TV. Marcy Benjamin, your man now coming on, Luca. Good to see Marcy Benjamin coming on at the moment. A bit of a smile, a bit of a jog as he comes on at the moment. It appears he will be as impactful as he will be. Toby Barton was not impressed that he was substituted. Actually, if you caught that on the camera, he threw his bib down in frustration. I thought he actually put in a pretty good shift, so maybe he was just a bit frustrated that he was uh, given the boot. But... Uh, we're not the ones that make the calls, Luca. Certainly are not. We just call the calls that are made. <laughs> Though Marcy Benjamin coming on, he'll be playing that role of the key centre back that Toby Barton does normally play, or they could potentially be looking to change that back lineup into maybe a back three with a central defensive midfielder, or play Bidwell in a bit of a different role. But Barton, of course, put in a shift today. We've seen a lot of him so far. We've called a bit of his action today. That physical presence, that that control, that slowing the te slowing of the tempo. As it appears, the fast tempo... Oh, jeez, oh, he's going through Kalamata there. Yeah, you're not going to get away with that one, son. That could have been a very good chance there for Newtown to get back into it. Pace is looks a bit dumbfounded on that one, but that looks pretty nasty on our end, Luca. Certainly do. He was, he was approaching quite a bit of pace, like a steam train coming through. It does appear a slice of cheese does come out of the pocket. Pace... Not happy with that at all. That's now three yellow cards. The way of Newtown. The slices of cheese are plentiful at the moment. Oh. 
as the tempo slows down a little bit here as we are approaching the 80th minute of this game. Kalamata back on his feet. Just happy to get the lads back into play. It's a bit of a looping ball. Somehow got a hold of it. Shogo. Oh, just muscled off the ball there. Infringement. Looks like the New Town players couldn't actually quite believe that one went through, but I personally did see a shoulder block. I don't know about you, Luca. <laughs> oh, I did see the shoulder. I did see the block. It'll be Taylor last to take now. He's got Shogo Umazume playing a bit closer than he would like to be. Got some toll options forward. Challenge by the keeper. Bidwell looking on the volley. Doesn't quite find anything. As Lenau Atkinson looks to cut and weave his way through a couple dozen. Does very, very well. Taylor last now looks to weave, cut and weave his way. It's back to Lenau Atkinson. I believe that was uh, Fox and Box himself, Miles Barnard. Gee, that looked very nasty if that had not come off. Goodness me, he was towering over the head there of Jamie Cook. Needs someone that's nice and tall. Go to the Fox in the Box, Miles himself, to compare with Jamie. Marcy Benjamin looking to approach here. Who's going to win the foot race? Benjamin looks to cut and weave his way around on the touchline. Looks to put the afterburners on as he looks to ta take back. He's done very well to pass that back. And even a bit of a fake there. Don't mind that from Devonport. The cockiness. Why wouldn't you be cocky? 4-1 away from home. About to go into the quarterfinals. Now the golden boot himself, Brady Dennehy, sends it into the box. That's headed away there. Barnard is, I don't know if he's appealing for a foul, but uh, looks like it's going to go the way of Newtown. Jamie Cook going down in goal. Strong challenge made by the Fox in the box. Certainly toll on toll here at the moment. You're going to need to be putting the goalkeeper under a bit of pressure there. Marcy Benjamin playing out wide. Looks to put the afterburners on. Cuts back. Bit of a fake from Taylor Last as Bidwell looks to drive one into the box. You'll love to see a bit of a fake here, don't you, Tanner? <laughs> Absolutely, mate. Speaking of the Fox, here he comes, Miles. Miles didn't quite get a hold of it, but still, Brazilian as ever, Marcy Benjamin. Now finds Lenu Atkinson. Never shy of the long shot. Happy to go down to Barnard. Don't normally see him down the wing. Sends it into the box. It's a looping ball. Not out of danger yet. <laughs> bit of a shake of the head there by... Taylor Lusk. Couldn't actually quite believe he got the ball back. Bidwell. He's been so crafty today, Charles. Lovely footballer to watch. Such utility as well for Devon Ball. We've seen him in this match today. He's been playing in everywhere around the ground. He's been playing while we've been playing central defensive role midfielder at times. He had a bit of a pot shot the 30th minute in the first half. They bid well been the utilities. The Swiss Army knife himself. MacGyver, I think, was the name of him. Some fantastic references today, Luca. Absolutely brilliant. Football Tasmania TV, very lucky to have you, son. Thank you very much, Tanner. Likewise with you, mate. I see Benjamin. Ran into a pile of bodies there. Matt Pace. Not living up to the name at the moment. Just, oh, It's just been one of those days for Newtown. Really needed the big boys to fire, but unfortunately not. Did have the lead early through Taylor. Things, things look so promising the first 20 minutes. Just that they can, that renewed pressure, that renewed strength forward. That, that early goal in the fifth minute by Taylor really should have been the catalyst that lit the spark, but Devonport again just slowed the tempo down. They played that style that they love to do, that controlling football. At points, Newtown have fired back, of course they have, but it's just been that consistent Devonport defence. Strong through midfield, strong in the defence, and their wide men, Danahy, Ichimura, Mazame been playing some fantastic style today. Absolutely, and what I do love about the captaincy when you do see the Kieran Mulraney, even though they're still 4-1 up to the good, still barking out the orders and still demanding that it's still 100% out there. Very similar to what I saw last night out of KGV with our Tyler Harrison, the Yarganorki Knights captain, still urging his troops to go 100% and going hard. When you wear the armband, your responsibility is a stretch. It's good to see good captaincy like that. Even though you are up, complacency is not something they will tolerate. It's a lovely chip there by... Uh, Dennehy, Fox in the box himself, Miles, was looking for any options there, but couldn't quite get a hold of it. Now Taylor last. Back down to the new Atkinson. Sends it into the box. Shogo, just wide. 
Jago there did well. Not quite a, not quite as tall or not quite as imposing as some, some of the uh, Newtown defenders, but he did very, very well there to get the header away. Not quite the way they would have expected, but a good bit of effort there. Can't blame him for trying. Tried to jump up as high as he could. Looks like a change is being made here. Taylor last coming off. Jariyu Mahachi coming on. Mahachi coming on to stretch his legs in the final couple of minutes of this game. Referee just bringing that one back. Don't think it was an offside, but Newtown will retain the ball. Miles isn't too impressed. <laughs> Certainly doesn't look too impressed. As the lofted ball forward to Matthew Pace. Looks to find. Newtown looks to drive their way through. They will play the passing ball, but Mahachi saw it coming. Dom Smith sends the ball down to the wing. Shogo just bullied off the ball there by Andrews. Then a hit quick throw in. It's a lovely long throw in too. Dennehy bullied off the ball but still managed to get the shot away. Still counts as a shot on target. Dennehy absolutely ruthless in this second half. A brace for him today. In the first half he was looking a bit quiet, not looking as um, prevalent as, as we've seen him. But then in the second half he just showed his class, scoring a brace today. He's been really been a catalyst. That positive energy forward. As Shogo Umazame goes down, maybe on one of the wet patches. Yes, he did not uh, like that one, did he? As the linesman flag goes up, it will go the way of Devonport. Dom Smith just happy to slow down the play. Looping header, Lunu Atkinson. Sends it up into the top of the air. Newtown just trying to weave their way through the traffic of Charles Bidwell. Bidwell, fancy bit of footwork there. He's able to retrieve the ball and is able to look to cut through. He's halted though. Yes, Ash Fisher couldn't quite get his way through on that one. Pace, takes aim, is just wide. Good bit of effort that from Newtown in the final couple of minutes. Shot not quite on not quite on target, not quite as close as, you, as you'd like it to be. Then Noah Kalamata, he'll simply as you like, he'll t be more than happy to take the ball. There's Bidwell's play out from the back. To slow the tempo down a bit, and I don't blame him, given that there's very few minutes remaining, and they have put in a shift today, have Devonport. Moradi, happy to do a cheeky sidestep. Now back down to Bidwell. Bidwell also happy to do a sidestep. Down to Benjamin. Bidwell. Dominic Smith. Mazame. Smith, now working back down the left. Looks like Brody tried to keep the ball in. Somehow he did. Then he's still valiant as ever trying to get the ball. <laughs> Fortunately, gives the foul away there, Luca. Foul given away there. Then he continuing to be ruthless, continuing to play that physical and that pressure style of football. Doesn't quite come off there. Gives the foul away as it's lofted forward by Newtown. Just approaching stoppage time here. Devonport sealed their way through to the quarterfinals of the Milan Lacquer Seljet Cup. Just too strong, too good on the day, unfortunately. But it was a brave fight by Newtown Luger. You can't, you cannot discredit Newtown today. Again, as you're saying, MPL versus Championship is that big power balance there. That absolute fantastic squad depth of Deportport that we're seeing at the moment. And the absolute class of their Japanese duo Shogo Umasame and Riku Ishimura, Brody Dennehy as well, Marcy Benjamin. Absolute fantastic team that is Devonport. Put off a fantastic comeback last week and just continuing to play that fantastic brand of football that we've become so accustomed to. Yeah, 100%. It's always going to be a tough game when you're playing against just a higher league competition. NPL versus Southern Championship. It's it's not going to be an easy task, but this is the beauty of cup football, Luca. These are the matchups that we do love. You hope to see the underdog hopefully try to come back and just do something magic. Fortunately, no magic there today, but 
it's always been good for the neutral, hasn't it, mate? Yeah. Neutral, neutral game, everyone loves to see an underdog story. Even if the underdog doesn't prevail, it's good to see a fight. And that's what Newtown have done today. At points, they have been they have been under pressure. At points, they have put the pressure on. They have been physical. And even in the dime moments of this game, they're on the corner trying to get some congelation for their efforts today. Newtown just take the corner. Sends it into the box. It's cleared away there by Kalamata. Dom Smith. Not too sure what he was going for there. Cross into the box. Looks to switch. Still in a bit of danger here. They didn't put have set up nicely in the box. Disallowing any real pressure. Cross comes in. Marcy Benjamin. Marathi. Ball drops. Marathi looks to clear. Benjamin down to Dom Smith. Dennehy. Still showing the afterburners, even the 90th minute. Great to see you there by Brody. Good stuff from Dennehy today. Lofted over, trying to find Shago Umazume. Just baiting him on. <laughs> Love the cheeky push there by Shago. <laughs> Cook clears for Newtown. As the touch is taken. Newtown looks to drive their way through. They've got options wide. They don't think they'll win the foot race. Strong challenge made by Smith. <laughs> the, the number three's in just fighting for the ball there. Throwing comes. Dangerous position. Chance. The call of time we hear there, they do have time, Devonport, and as the time is about to run out, we're about to see curtains on what has been a great display today from Devonport. Yes, you can't count out the quality. Japanese sensations, just getting them over the line, but also Brody Dennehy picking up a brace. Too strong, too good on the day. Devonport into the quarterfinals. No strangers to that there, Luca. Certainly not. The goal scorers, they absolutely class. Then we've seen players like we've seen Bidwell. We have seen... We've seen Smith as well make some strong challenges in this second half. Yes, Dom Smith has impressed me today as well. Him and Toby Barton. Toby Barton as well. Absolutely fantastic. And there is the final whistle. That's the Devonport wrap-up. What is a fantastic 4-1 win today. The first five minutes, the account was opened by Newtown's Taylor. Just open us in the fifth minute. But then, of course, Devonport class as per usual. The Japanese duo getting a goal and Brady Dennehy with a brace today. The underdog story, not quite complete, but a... Good performance today from Newtown, I'd say. Yes, it was a good performance by Newtown. Southern Championship side giving it a good crack against the MPL champions. Bit outclassed on the day, but good to see them had a moment early with uh, Andy Taylor getting that header, a la the frying Dutchman himself. Shout out to uh, Robin Van Persie on that one. But Devonport, yes, you, you can't count out the champions. And sure enough, they came back just like they did last week. Most certainly the comebacks are on here for Devonport. Absolutely fantastic style of play today. Tanner and Luca have been on comps today for you at the moment. It's been an absolute pleasure. It's been a great game to commentate. More action coming up in the coming weeks of the Lacassel Jack Cup here for the MPL in Tasmania. More quality football. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast today. Hope you've enjoyed watching this game. Tanner, mate, you want to sign off? Thank you for joining us all today on our Football Tasmania TV. Devonport through to the quarterfinals while Newtown will make the exit. We'll see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.